Hello everyone, Shamanzine here. In this quick video, I'm showing you how to convert your Cacti installation from using the Cron tab to the new Cacti System D daemon. Okay, so uh, starting from Cacti 1.2.16, uh, a new Cacti daemon is, in, is available that runs on System D uh, instead of having to use a Cron, uh, the Cron tab. Now, this has a lot of benefits, especially when you're talking about Keep Alive D and high availability and things like that. Um, and so I encourage you to read the documentation on uh, the Cacti site. I'll leave them in the comment section below on the advantages of using the daemon versus the, the cron tab. Um, okay, so assuming you have Cacti uh, 1, 2, 16 and above, um, you will find a folder in your Cacti uh, directory which uh, says service, okay? And there's two main files here, the readme and the cacti ID uh, service. So if you just look at the readme, it's pretty much everything you need to know here. Uh, essentially moving a file over, um, the cacti ID service file over to the systemd directory, okay? And then, um, and then we have to create an environmental file uh, for future use. So let's do that. Cact ID service, move that over to um, the systemd system folder. I'm using a Debian machine. So the, we do have to do a couple of tweaks from the default, um, the, the default service file, uh, so that it'll run on Debian slash Ubuntu systems. And I'll show you that in a quick second here. So we'll go back to that directory and we'll modify the Cact ID service uh, file. And so the first thing is, by default, um, uh, we have Apache in, in this uh, file. We have to switch the user from Apache to www data. Okay, and then the environmental file, uh, by default, will point to uh, Etsy sysconfig cat ID. Now, Etsy sysconfig is a CentOS um, directory structure. And so, which doesn't exist in uh, a Ubuntu system. Okay, so we'll just dump the environmental file or the environment file into Etsy uh, and then just create a file in Etsy called cat ID. Okay, so we will do that. Create that file. And then things we'll do is reload the daemon for system D to discover um to discover this okay and now we'll start the cat id process okay now let's verify that it's running voila no errors, so that's good. If you forgot to create that environment file, it will, uh, by the way, it will not run. You have to be sure to follow these directions uh, carefully, uh, especially that. And the next uh, real important thing is, as we said, um, to ensure that the username uh, and the group match um, the owner of um, it's typically the web server so it needs to be able to run and execute this uh, to execute the polar properly so it's essentially the same thing as what you would do of uh, what you would have done in cron so speaking of cron um, let's go over to our cron <coughs> file and you'll see i have a cron file here for www-data Okay, and so let's comment that out because we don't want cron and the daemon running at the same time. So as you can see here, um, in the old uh, older way of doing things, right, uh, www-data, we said that that's the user that has to run this uh, polar.php. Um, but now uh, we do pretty much the same thing, but in the daemon where we put www-data to execute, right? So we, egg, we remove that, go to our cacti system. Okay. Now we can see that the daemon has run, has started running. 
Okay. And what you can do now is, since I'm running spine here, I will just see the next time spine run. Okay, so I can see that it's run recently. And I actually don't have to do anything else um, in the settings. So if I go to configuration settings in Polar, you'll notice that I haven't had to change anything. Um, it's already here at the cron daemon interval. It's still the same setting. Don't have to touch anything. And everything should continue running the same way. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Thank you.